UAV is airborne. Okay, this is a Newtonian check. I redid all my wires. This time I made my my USB 3.0 power hub a permanent fixture. I dressed it up that I only have four wires, a uh, hand control set, USB 2.0, I mean that's the power cord, CGM Pro power cord, USB 2.0 to the hub, and um, power for the hub. I have redone all the cabling so that everything is neat. Orientation of the camera, filter wheel is down to the left. Anytime it's, fa anytime it's on the left side of the telescope. Power um, is using a CGM Pro power adapter, I'm not using the standard one that came with the ZWO or Zowie, I, I called it. Okay, everything looks good and organized. Hope to get some stars tonight and some galaxies. Not stars, more like deep sky objects. Very organized, best I can do. Using zip ties. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get them deep sky objects. Hoping for clear skies. Back at this again with all these lights. Yeah. Okay, um, shooting for the Whirlpool Galaxy this time. Um, I'm on HA filter, frame number six at one minute exposure. That's what it looks like with an HA filter. My guiding, um, RA at 0.29, declination at 0.21. Um, my, my, my star is at 2.36, but it is guiding pretty good. Great, just did a stretch and I got a streak. I don't know if I can fix that or not on post-processing. Let's see what the next frame looks like. Um, I'm gonna stretch it to high. <gasps> That's terrible. Okay, this frame, um, number eight, is shot. So about this uh, setup process I'm at gain 343 um, on unity setting and um, I'm using S sulfur S I guess SII HA and oxygen 3 um, UVIR cut and UHC LPR Okay, this is frame number nine. Let's see how that looks. <clears throat> Not bad, and there is no streak going across that. I'm only doing 10 frames per each filter. Also, um, I did that plate solving thing and uh, if you don't set your gain up to high at least 411, which worked for me, it was able to do plate solving by recognizing the stars. I guess um, I was at 263, it couldn't find any stars to align itself or match it as it does its plate solving. But once I moved it up to 411 gain, I was able to do uh, plate solving with no problem. It exactly centered 
the Whirlpool Galaxy like that, as you see here. Alright, next frame will be Oxygen 3. Um, it's 2.46 a.m. And um, it's been cloudy all day. Well, early in the evening. And this is Oxygen 3. See what I had to deal with? Ridiculous. Oxygen 3 is looking pretty good. Oh yeah. Man, I love them stars. These are my settings. That's my filter. I got no focus. Uh, settings for my plate solving. Now in this setting here, I don't like to use um, PHD2 here. I'd only enable it. Cause it, I don't know. I think PH should run by itself really but it's working fine my guiding is going quite well without it okay this is um, using Celestron filter UHC LPR frame number 9 do not stretch low hmm not bad huh Stretch high. Okay, it's finished. Time to go to bed. Um, it's three o'clock in the morning, and that is auto stretch high. And this is my guiding. And that's that. Okay, it's time to bed. It is 3.07 a.m. in the morning. Helicopter inbound.
please. Okay. Making a hot dog. <laughs> oh, shucks. Uh, it's a six hour drive. Where? <laughs> you guys have had a home. You're going home? That's hard enough.